Have you ever wondered, what do these people know that I don't know? How do I do it? How do I find my purpose, my passions? What if you could sit down with some of the wisest experts, everyday leaders, and inspirational people who could answer your deepest questions? That is what we do here on the Inspirational Living Podcast. We invite you to join us as we hold conversations, share wisdom, tips, and tools to inspire you, ignite your passions and vision for your life, to awaken your sense of purpose and hope, and leave you inspired to design your best life. Join me, your host, psychologist Dr. Sean Horn, as we take you on an inspirational, motivational, and educational journey so you can inspire by living an inspired life. Are you a crockpot or are you a microwave? Today we're going to talk about communication differences and how you can use the model of being a crockpot or a microwave to inform you of how to communicate more effectively in your relationships. I am going to tell you a little story to begin with of how I came up with this theory. When I came to Spokane for my doctoral internship, I went to my supervisor and I said, who is one of the best people for me to shadow and learn from that's here at this clinic? And I was told that my current office partner, Rich Wilson, was someone who was so masterful at leading groups and guiding people, and they highly recommended that I work with him. So all year, I shadowed this man, and at the end of the internship, I said to him, why are you still here? You are so gifted and talented. You really could be very successful in a private practice. And we talked about that. And he says, well, let me think about that. So I left my internship and I started my practice. And a year later, I get a call from Rich Wilson. And he says, hi, Sean. Well, I'm ready. And I thought, ready for what? (laughs) And he says, I'm ready to start our practice. And I was like, what are you talking about? That was over a year ago that I brought that up to him. And that is when I encountered a true through and through crock pot. So let me explain to you what this is. Microwaves are fast processors. They are people who can quickly identify what they're feeling, what they need, what they want, what their ideas are. They are quick at that communication. They are essentially saying, I think I feel I need, I want, how about you? Because microwaves can be so clear about what they are feeling and thinking and wanting, they assume that others are also just as quick. And they expect that they can have those conversations right now, right here in the moment. Their mantra is don't go to bed angry, process it right here, right now. We can hash it out and we'll have clarity. But crock pots are slow processors. They need time to let it all settle in before they can wrap their minds around what they do actually think, feel, want, need, etc. Their responses are so different than a microwave. Instead of being able to just rattle out what they're thinking and feeling and needing, they go, um, and so it takes a while. They often will feel pressure when they're asked for a response in the moment. And when they are expected to give an immediate response and they do give an immediate response, they end up resenting that response later. They end up feeling like they were pressured and pushed to give an answer that when they think about it later, they're really not in agreement with. Then they will respond later, confronting that microwave, saying that they were forced to give an answer. They were pressured to give an answer. But the microwave will say, what? I thought you were okay with this. And now you're upset? Why are you still upset? So here we have a situation where there is a loss in translation. They are trying to communicate, but they have really different styles of processing, articulating, and moving forward. So here is the solution. Microwaves, you need to give that crock pot time. When I realized that Rich was a crock pot, now I met him in 2002, and we have been sharing a practice together since 2004. 
And now it's 2020. So we have been partners here for a long time. And I have learned that if I have an idea or I want to make some changes around the office, I need to give him time. Like I need to give him a week to process and think about it. So if a microwave says to a crock pot, something like, Hey, I have some thoughts I'd like to share with you. When is a good time? You're likely to get a more authentic interaction with them to where they can really think about what you're about to say and give you their thoughts about it. So give them the time to process. Perhaps a week from now, they will know what their thoughts are. So say something like, how about a week from now we can get back to this and you can share with me your thoughts. Does next Tuesday work? In that situation, like if I'm talking to Rich, I'll say, hey, I got some thoughts. Here they are. Why don't you take some time to think about it? And next week, let's have a meeting on Wednesday and we can talk about what your thoughts are about. When I do that, then he can have sufficient time to really wrap his mind around it, process it, and then come back and be able to give me his response after he's been sitting on it. Now, if you were a crock pot, accept that the microwave is just quicker and that's okay. Reframe the way you think about it. Essentially change the story from them being pushy to they're just a quick processor. That's just how they work and that's okay. So what you can do as a crock pot is ask for time. The microwave is going to feel a sense of urgency and they're not going to necessarily understand why you're taking time to address it. So if you validate them and then ask for time, they're likely to understand or feel more comfortable with the fact that you get that this is important and that you will come back and address it. So say something like, I can see this is really important and we do need to talk about it, but I'm unable to talk about it today. How about this coming Friday, we make time to address it. Does that work for you? Or you can say, I don't have an answer right now as I need time to think about it. So let's talk tonight. In this way, you are letting them know that you will come back and it is going to be addressed. So you change the narrative from them being pushy to being quick processors and you acknowledge that that just is their superpower. To be more effective in our interpersonal relationship skills and our communication skills, we must understand that we're all different and we all have different needs. We all have different approaches, different ways of processing. So we want to guard from making the mistake of thinking that others will feel, think, need, want, react, have the same motivations, the same intentions as we do. Essentially, when we do that, we're imposing our own personal culture on them and we will be in error because others are not from our personal culture. It is, they're not from our world. They don't think the way we think, need, want have the same motivations, intentions. So we must understand that difference. When we don't acknowledge those differences, we are at risk of holding unrealistic expectations for ourselves and for others. And when we do that, we are sticking and adhering to these ideals and these shoulds, and we will unknowingly shame one another because the other person is not able to meet our expectations. They're not meeting our ideals and life is not how we think it should be. So instead of responding to the situation like you think it should be, you are responding to the situation as it is at hand, and you're focusing on doing what works. So if you're a microwave and you are in a relationship with a crock pot, just know there's nothing wrong with that crock pot. They just have a different way of going about things. And that actually is their superpower. There's a lot of wisdom in sitting and contemplating and really gathering your thoughts before you make a decision. On the other hand, if you're a crock pot married to a microwave or in a relationship with a microwave, we must understand that that is their superpower. And we do need people who are quick at making decisions and are having that clarity and that leadership. So both have their strengths, both have their weaknesses, and we do not want to judge one another. We just want to understand we have those differences. So microwaves, give your crock pot some time and crock pots, 
be patient with your microwaves. And hopefully this model of crock pot and microwave communication will help you as you navigate the relationships that you have in your life. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this discussion was inspiring and uplifting to your journey. Please remember this podcast is for educational purposes only and is not meant to substitute a relationship with a licensed mental health professional. Also, make sure you rate this show, share with those you know, and send us a shout out. Please message me with any topics you would like me to address or questions you have on social media at Dr. Sean Horn or on my website. Thank you again and may you find joy in the journey and be richly blessed.